I want to deal with the question that everyone is asking, but the mainstream media is not really seriously addressing, and that is, did Israel allow this attack to happen? Uh, they say that there were huge blunders in Israel's intelligence, as if you have a bunch of Israeli guys eating falafels, saying things like, Udi, when are we going to go to the disco? I want to go to the disco. I'm tired of looking at these terrorists all day. I want to go to have a good time in Tel Aviv. When are we going to go to the disco? And there was nobody there, and Israel's high-tech security system could not even and really detect that uh, terrorists were cutting through the security fence to enter Israel and slaughter civilians. Israel has the second most sophisticated intelligence apparatus in the world, and yet this high-tech security system could not detect when terrorists were cutting through the security fence. And this security fence was armed with very high-tech sensors that could detect something as simple as a small ladder being pushed up against it, yet they couldn't see that terrorists were penetrating through the fence. The official story just does not add up. It does not make sense. Now, there was an article that was published today by the Times of Israel stating that the Egyptians are now saying that Egyptian intelligence told the Israelis that there was going to be a big attack or that there was a big attack being planned by Hamas and the Israelis ignored it. And the report states that, in, that uh, Egyptian intelligence told Netanyahu 10 days before the attack that Hamas was planning something big and Netanyahu brushed it aside. Mounting questions over Israel's massive intelligence failure to anticipate and prepare for a surprise Hamas assault were compounded Monday when an Egyptian intelligence official said that Jerusalem had ignored repeated warnings that the Gaza-based terror group was planning something big, which included an apparent direct notice from Cairo's intelligence minister to the prime minister. The Egyptian official said Egypt, which often serves as a mediator between Israel and Hamas, had spoken repeatedly with the Israelis about something big without elaborating. He said Israeli officials were focused on the West Bank and played down the threat from Gaza. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's government is made up of supporters of West Bank settlers, who have demanded a security crackdown there in the face of a rising tide of violence over the last 18 months. Uh, in one of the said warnings, Egypt's intelligence minister, General Abbas Kamel, personally called Netanyahu only 10 days before the massive attack that Gazans were likely to do something unusual, a terrible operation, according to the Ynet News site. Unnamed Egyptian officials told the site they were shocked by Netanyahu's indifference to the news and said the premier told the minister the military was submerged in troubles in the West Bank. According to the Egyptians, they warned the Israelis that Hamas was planning something very, very terrible for the Israelis, but Netanyahu brushed it off. They said that Netanyahu told them that Israel was more so focused on the West Bank because the settlers uh, living in the West Bank were demanding that Israel uh, put their security uh, as a huge priority, look at their security as a huge priority, and send more and more IDF officers to the West Bank to defend the settlers. Uh, but still, let's say all of this is true. Let's say Israel had to send IDF officers to the West Bank and uh, allow for gaps in the uh, security between uh, Israel and Gaza on the, you know, on the Israeli-Gaza border. Let's say all of that is true. The second most sophisticated country in the world when it comes to intelligence did not see that its security fence was being cut by the terrorists because the terrorists cut through the metal on the fence and they broke in and the Israelis couldn't see that. I find that hard to believe. The Israelis knew that Hamas was trained for something big, but the Israelis are saying, well, we thought that that was all just uh, for show, that Hamas was doing all this training to show its people that they are uh, tough and that they're going to fight against the Israelis and all that. So the Israelis did not take Hamas seriously. But when you're training to break into Israel and commit massacres and to descend upon Israel with parachutes, don't tell me Israel did not see that that training was serious. I find it hard to believe that Israel saw Hamas's training and thought, well, you know, it's all just for show. It's all just for the camera. And according to Hamas, uh, the terrorists were training right in the plain sight of Israel's view. So Hamas is saying that Israel knew that they, that, uh, they were training. And uh, still, the Israelis did nothing about it.
it is my suspicion that Israel not only knew that Hamas was planning for this, but allowed for this carnage to take place. Now, why would Israel allow for such horror to occur? Well, if I had to guess, it was to have a justification to level Gaza and to destroy Hamas's infrastructure in Gaza. And that is what's happening right now. You guys just heard some Theo Alaji. God bless.